Hello, I am Mrs. Carl, and I am here with Sight and Sound Reading because I heard that you wanted to learn how to read. I'm so happy that you're here because I want to learn to read, to be here with you when you learn how to read. I want to help you. You know, reading can be so much fun, but it does take a lot of work. It takes practice. Do you know what practice means? All right, doing something over and over again. You know, when you when you were little, you probably don't even remember this, but you had to practice to be able to crawl. And then you learned how to walk. And you had to practice and practice. And now look how well you can walk, right? And how about talking? Do you, you probably don't remember this, but hardly anyone could understand you when you first learned how to talk. And then you practiced and practiced, and now you speak so well that everyone can understand you. Well, that's what reading is. Reading is working hard and practicing. All right? Also with reading, reading is made up of a lot of letters. All right? And you know the letters like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Those are letters. All right? Those are what we read, the letters. But the letters all make sounds. They make special sounds. And that's kind of what's fun in reading because you learn the sounds that the letters make and then you learn that there are some letters that are magic and do different things and then some letters make more than one sound and then you have to learn that. So there's quite a bit to learn in reading. but. There's quite a bit to learn in anything that we do. It's just working, and I'm going to say this word again, practice, because that's what it's going to take. But it's fun. Let's do it together, and let's start today, all right? Over here, we have a picture. See the picture? Can you tell what the children are doing in this picture? What are they doing? Good. They're reading. Look. They have books. They're reading, all right? I wonder if they're brother and sister or if they're just friends. They're reading the same book. And you want to know what the name of that book is? I'll tell you. It says, Good Morning. And look, at there's a sun on the book. That must mean it's a good morning. It's a sunny morning. It's a bright morning. It's a good morning because it's a good morning to start learning how to read. All right, now let's look at this picture. Uh, I don't, can't tell whether they're in a girl's room or a boy's room. Can you figure it out whose room they're in? Do you think maybe it is a boy's room because of the dinosaurs? And up here, this looks like it's this part of a rocket that's shooting through the air. So it could, it's, I think it probably is this boy's room, but it could be the girls' room, too, because that doesn't mean that girls can't want dinosaurs and rockets in their room, too, because they can have whatever they want, right? Okay, now, let's look. We know that the name of this book is called Good Morning. Now, we're going to come down here, and we're going to look what is written down here. First, I have it underlined. This word is underlined. And that word is underlined. The reason that it's underlined is because it is a new word that you have never read. All right? It's the first time that you're going to see the word in the reading that we're going to do together. Now, maybe one, maybe you know the word. Well, I don't know. But I'm going to pretend like you don't know the word. All right? And this is a new word that you have never read before. And the word is good, and this word down here is morning. So the name of the book is what we bring down here, good and morning. Now, Mrs. Carl said a few minutes ago that the alphabet letters, all the letters, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the letters of the alphabet make sounds. And we're going to talk a lot about those sounds, all right? But a lot of words, you're just going to have to what we call memorize. That means you're going to have to not make all the sounds for the letters, but you're going to have to just learn the word. Learn the word and put it in your head and remember that word. So that's what 
that's what reading's all about. Some of the times we're going to learn the sounds and we're going to make the sounds in the word. And lots of times we're just going to learn the word. All right. Now, in this word today, good, the first word, good, all right, that's up here. Um, I want you just to learn the word, good. But I'm going to tell you about the beginning sound in this word, the G. This is an uppercase G. It's a big G, an uppercase G. And it says g, 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 good. That's a g, good day, all right? G is also in the word go, g, go to the store. Go get that book, g, g, the G. So it makes that sound too. Now, but what is this word? The word, the whole word is good. G-O-O-D. Good. Good. What is this word? Good. Thank you. What is this word? Very good. 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 This word down here is morning. Morning. Look, it's longer. It's a longer word. Starts, has all different letters in it because it's a different word, right? It starts with what we call an uppercase or a big M. M. And M says M, like morning or like M, good, M, good. That's what M&Ms are, mm, good. If you look at an M&M, &M, it has an M on it, okay? It has a little M, a lowercase M. But this M is called a uppercase or a big M, all right? Capital M. And this word is morning. What's this word? Good, I tried to trick you. I tried to trick you. Watch where the pointer goes. What's this word? Good. What's this word? Morning. Wonderful. Very good, all right? Now I'm going to go with the pointer and I want you to read the word, whether it's good or whether it's morning. What is this word? Morning. Wonderful. All right, here we go. What is this word? Ah, good morning. What's this word? Good. What's this word? Morning. What's this word? Good. This is what? Good. What is this? Morning. Right. Those are the only two words we are going to learn today. The words good and the words morning. All right. Those are the only two words we're going to learn. But they're going to take practice, all right? So I want you today now several times to come back and see if you can tell the difference. Which one is morning? Which one is good? Good morning, morning, good. Morning, morning, good. Good, good morning. See if you can do a, use your pointer. You know, you can get this pointer from a hanger. If you go to the to the your where your your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa where they hang clothes, all right, the hangers have this on them. And if you ask your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or someone to get it for you, you can have your own pointer. All right? That's what this is. I use this from the hanger. They're hard to get off of the hanger, so you have to have a big person help you get it off. All right? But this is a great pointer. Now it's fun to practice, and even though these are only two words, all right, that's, you have to start somewhere, right? And we're starting with only two words. So here we go. What is this word? Good. What is this word? Morning, all right? And this is a big G, a uppercase, a big G, and it says g, 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 g. And this is a big or uppercase M, and it says mmm, mmm. But what is that whole word? The entire word is good. What is this word? Morning. All right. I'm hoping tomorrow or whenever you come back to read some more, 
I'm hoping that you will remember that this is the word good, then this is the word morning. All right? You did very well today. Thank you for reading with me. I loved being here with you.